So today is the 28th of February 2018 and it is Rare Diseases Day. So in my job as a dietitian, I work with lots of different rare disorders and a lot of them need a specific diet to go with that, for the treatment for that rare disorder. So one of the disorders I work with is lipoprotein lipase deficiency and this is a disorder of um, fats in the body and it means the treatment or the only treatment is a very low fat diet otherwise they become unwell and can get pancreatitis. So it's a very low fat diet so the challenge I'm doing today which uh, has been set by the lipoprotein lipase deficiency alliance um, is just to eat 10 grams of fat per day and this is not very much fat at all in your diet so so to raise more awareness of this disorder I am going to just eat a very low fat diet today and see how easy or how hard it is for those of us that don't have to follow a restrictive diet, it doesn't matter that we might eat something one day, something the next, have what we fancy, but if you're on a restricted diet and it means that if you, if you don't follow this diet you could become unwell, then it does become quite challenging for these people. They can't have a treat day, they can't have a day off, a week off, they can't go on holiday, they've got to stick to this diet all the time to be well. So I'll take you through my day and see how I get on. So egg whites and mushrooms on toast and because there's no butter I've put a bit of tomato ketchup on which is very low in fat um, to make it a little bit moist. So let's have a taste. Oh, do you know what? I should put some hot pepper in. Mm. Yeah, need a bit of pepper in it or a bit of herbs or something to go with it. And I've just realised while uh, tidying up that actually I had semi-skimmed milk, not skimmed milk, this morning in my tea. So semi-skimmed milk has got 1.7 grams of fat per 100 mils. Mm. So back after the school run, and I realised I'm still hungry and had one slice of toast, so I'm gonna go for some marmalade with no fat or anything. And my toes to fill me up. It's freezing cold outside, snowing. I'm gonna keep myself going. I need a snack, so it's gonna to have to be some fruit. I think I'll have a banana. So I've just been shopping to see what else I can get to eat later. So obviously fruits and vegetables are low in fat. I've got some meringues that are made with egg whites, so they're low fat or no fat. I found some yogurts, no fat yogurts. There's quite a selection in the shop. And I also got some baked beans because I'm going to have a baked beans and jacket potato for my lunch. So for lunch, I'm going to do myself a jacket potato with baked beans. So Pop it in the microwave for three or four minutes, maybe longer, we'll see. And then the 
white beans, so nutritional content per 100 grams of fat is 0.8 grams, half a can is 1.6, so it's got a little bit of fat in, but I'll tally that up in my total fat for the day. The potatoes are done in the microwave. Any fingers, I mean. Serve and of course, the pepper to make it taste nice. I think for pudding, I'm going to have a fat free yogurt. So in my fridge, can't have mayonnaise, too much fat, can't have full fat yoghurt, hummus, well per 100 grams is 11 grams of fat, cheese, Ooh. I can't have cheese, far too high in fat, even though it's reduced, I did actually have some fat free yoghurts, I didn't, didn't realise when shopping for some more. I have salmon, which will be too high in fat. I have sausages, which will be too high in fat. You don't realise when you start looking how much fat actually is in food that, that we actually normally eat. So, for my dinner this evening, what I had left in the fridge was sausages, and that's too high in fat for me to have. So I found some corn pieces in the freezer, and per portion, 75 gram portion, there is two grams of fat in those. I'm gonna have some noodles with it, but actually check, checking the pack of noodles, per portion is 1.5 grams of fat. So that's two, three, three and a half, and I've got a cooking sauce. Uh, sweet chilli and garlic, and uh, that's less than 0.5, so I don't need to count that. And then with my vegetables, so already today I've had one, two, maybe three grams of fat, so four, five, six, six and a half, so I should be on track with that. I've not really cooked, I've got my non stick pan, I'll see if I can fry my vegetables off without any fat in the pan. Let's see how we go. So it doesn't say 75 grams, is it cooked or is it frozen? Now, I'm presuming from when we do low protein diets, the portion is probably cooked, which is no good when you're cooking for one, is it? You don't know what the portion is. Okay. You think, is that a portion? Now I've tipped it in, I don't know. 75 grams is of corn when it's cooked. My sweet chilli and garlic sauce. Probably only for, for two people. I just use half of it. Noodles 
so corn, stir fry noodles, vegetables, all for, what did I work out, less than four grams of fat. So last but not least, pudding, who doesn't like pudding? So I've got meringue nests. One grams of fat per nest. I've got strawberries. And I'm going to top it up off with my fat free yogurt. So before I eat this, I quickly reflect on what I have learned today. So I decided yesterday that I was going to do this challenge, so I wasn't particularly prepared. I just used stuff that was in the fridge and I did a little bit of shopping this afternoon. So some of it was a bit of a scramble. I was hungry this afternoon and scrambled in my cupboards for this. Um, crisp bread, gluten free, and they are very low fat. It's saying 0 grams per 7 grams, but I think I worked it out as 0 0.1 grams of fat per crisp bread. And the only reason I had these in my cupboards, I think, because they're very low in protein. So for something else we were doing with low protein diets, so munched on those. But I'm sure I'd be better prepared if I had to eat low fat all the time. And if you've got a family, you'll be cooking different meals potentially. I cooked my girls um, sausage and mash, but I couldn't have that, so I left some for my husband and had to cook something else for me. And then when the sausages were cooking, I was like, mmm, smells good. I was like, no, I can't, I can't have that. So it's definitely in the thinking and the planning, and maybe if I had more time, maybe I could have tried some cooking, low-fat cooking or baking, um, because you could easily miss out if you're not prepared and you don't um, and you're not organized and you can see how hard it would be if you went out um, to a restaurant not knowing exactly how much fat was in those meals so for example when I was getting the corn out it told me how much it was per 75 gram portion but I didn't know if that was frozen if that was cooked and because I threw it straight in my stir fry then I couldn't uh, weigh it afterwards, so I just guessed that that was 75 grams, so it could have been a little bit more than it was, so it, it's quite, you know, to get it to get it right, I suppose you just have to go for as low as you, you can really, and looking at what I've eaten over the day, I think I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so definitely less than, than 10 grams, um, but of course, if you did that every day, you'd want to change things around, have different things to eat. I only did it for one day, so I, d I didn't find it too hard finding things to have. Um, I, I enjoyed my food, I didn't really miss uh, my fat. I'll eat my pudding, see how I go, but I suppose um, I could miss a chocolate or um, biscuits, you'll be able to have those kind of things. The other thing which I have to admit is that I was actually having semi-skimmed milk in my tea today because I didn't go out and buy um, any skimmed milk. So that probably would take me up to my 10 gram limit on my fat. But no, it was definitely worth doing. And any dietitian that has to recommend a certain diet, it's, it's worth following that diet for a day or, or more to get a feel of how you can really fit those foods into your diets. Okay. Bye-bye.